Hi Craig, uh, I've managed to have a look at this now. <clears throat> it's quite straightforward really. What it's using is something called a quad two input NAND gate. Um, but it's using one particular type of NAND gate called a 4093. Basically that's what's called an oscillating NAND gate, which means effectively these components in the yellow here there's the logic gate for the NAND and it uses that in this case the R4 10k resistor and it uses one of the two uh, capacitors here which are selected via that switch too so that means you can either have a fast rate or you can have a slow rate uh, depending on which way the switch is going so there you go so there's the one part of the criteria for the switches. By the way, this only works if on the LDR here is in darkness. If it's in daylight, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we, we have a constant here. So obviously you wouldn't want to turn them on in daylight. So when the whole thing is turned off, obviously there's nothing going anywhere. And then turn the whole circuit on and then you select which one you want, the fast or the slow. And then you have to then wait until it's dark. Or obviously you can cover the LDR. I think that's the idea of what you were thinking. And then you have these options of fast or slow. <clears throat> By the way, all the other um, unused inputs uh, on the Quad 2 input NAND gate ideally want to be either held high or low. I've held them low and the reason for that is it just stops any false triggers. Sometimes what can happen is you get little spikes and things just finding the way onto an input and it might affect another input. So it, it's good sense any unused input gates on a logic gate um, you either ground them low or you send them high permanently. So let's just have a look at on the breadboard. Um, now I haven't got the two switches on here, the switch selection for the two speeds. I've just got one speed on. But you can see on here when it goes dark, that's set by this. So you can set at what level of darkness you want it to work with. You get that. You can see on the scope here, you can see it's oscillating nicely to a voltage. This is using a 9 volt battery. With these components. Um, PCB. Let's see, switches on. So there we are there. Obviously we're set to darkness here. And then you've got your slow Playing off a bit here. Fast. Oh, it's playing off a bit on the simulation, but it, it does work effectively. Tried it before. Okay, so um, best of luck. I hope that's something like what you were looking for. If not, you can always try and tweak it a little bit and see what you get out of it. Uh, obviously, if you want to alter the rates of when it's high, when it's low for the LEDs, that's on the oscillator circuit. So basically, it's just playing around with that component there and these components here. Play around with them and that sends that alters how when it's high in other words, when the LED is on, while well, the LED is off, it's just playing around with those there. The diodes are in here, by the way, because what can happen, and did actually happen on the breadboard when I tried it, is that you get a little bit of back EMF, a little bit of back voltage coming back here. So this blocks that, because as I said, some logic gates are really sensitive to false triggers and little spikes of voltage. So that prevents anything coming back here and interfering with what's going on here as the output of the NAND gate. So that's why that one's there. Uh, constant potential divider here. LDR, when it goes dark, high signal, high voltage comes on here. 
which in turn connects the collector to the emitter so in so doing that means what was high here can now carry on down here and go to there so that's that input one is now high um, when it goes dark this is just a pull down resistor to make sure that when this isn't high this pin is kept low remember about the false triggers thing so to prevent so as this input doesn't know what it's supposed to be high or low you're telling it well i always want you to be low through that resistor until it goes dark and then i don't mind if it goes high all right craig best of luck let us know how you get on